Right, so to make a pollen trap, we're going to need a funnel, some filter paper, and some uh, wire mesh, sort of stuff you might use in your garden, or um, some insect screening, something like that. So what we need to do, this is a bit fiddly, if we fold up the filter paper a little bit into a little cone, and then we put the wire meshing into the funnel, and put the filter paper inside. And this just means that when it rains, the water can drain through with the pollens caught at the bottom of the funnel. And then we're just going to use some uh, sealant, the sort of stuff you might use for sealing a bath or something. And then we'll just seal around the edge of the filter paper. Like so. And that just needs smoothing down a bit. And for that, we just need a bit of washing up liquid. And this just stops that sealant sticking to my finger as I smooth it round. There we go, it's looking good. And then we have to leave that to set. So now I'm going to show you how to make the top of the pollen trap. So once you've got your nicely sealed in filter paper with your netting, um, you're going to need quite a bit of cotton wool. Uh, we've been using cotton wool balls and we generally use six to eight, uh, but you have to tear them up so they fit nicely and kind of expand to fill the funnel. So you put that in there and that's going to form the, the main part of the trap which actually catches most of the pollen. Um, then you want to cut yourself a nice piece of green netting, possibly the same stuff you used to put in the bottom, it doesn't have to be. And this is just going to keep the cotton wool in the trap when it's in the field. Then you take a small piece of garden wire, just enough to wrap around the outside of the funnel, and you thread it through your wire like this, so it forms a kind of little hat. And then comes the tricky part, which is where you have to put the wire onto the filter, filter funnel, and then tighten it. You do it the wrong way around there. It is tricky. So then you've got the two ends of the wire, twizzle them together, and using your pliers, which are actually a really essential part of the equipment, just twizzle the wire until the netting becomes really nice and tight on top like so. So it's nice and tight, it'll keep the cotton wool in and hopefully it won't fall out if it gets knocked by a passing elephant or whatever else you get in the forest. Then you can, if you want you can trim these little bits around the side um, just to make it extra neat but effectively that's all you have to do and you have got yourself a nice functioning pollen trap. <laughs>